Jackson, Jackson, can you hear me? Jackson, squeeze my hands if you can hear me. A spinal injury should be suspected in any casualty who loses consciousness because of a head injury. Hi, yeah, I need an ambulance. Yeah, my mate's unconscious. A direct injury can result in damage to the spinal cord through compression or severing, which may result in permanent damage or disability. Signs and symptoms of a spinal injury may include pain, tingling or numbness in the limbs below the injury. The casualty may experience an altered conscious state, loss of function in limbs or obvious head trauma. The airway takes priority over the spinal injury and an unconscious casualty must always be turned onto their side. When turning a casualty with a spinal injury onto their side, care must be taken to maintain spinal alignment and minimise twisting. This movement can be achieved by performing a log roll. The aim is to maintain spinal alignment of the head and neck with the torso during the turn and afterwards. I'm going to need your help, boys. We need to turn him over onto the side. Should we really be moving him, wouldn't it? No, yeah, no. he's unconscious and we need to make sure he keeps breathing. Okay, okay boys, I need you down that end um, to hang on to the ankle and the hips. Oh, your hip and shoulder. Yeah. And we're going to turn him over and keep him nice and straight. Yeah. On the count of three, boys. One, two, three. Gently roll the casualty together into the side recovery position, paying attention to keeping spinal alignment with no twisting. If assistance is not available, support the casualty's head and neck and carefully place them into the recovery position.